Hello boys, how are you doing? This is take two of my video. Hope this works. Have you ever been to the Apple store and you've got your device thus and it doesn't work and it's been playing silly you know what's all day and then you go over to the Genius Bar. You know the Genius Bar? And you look at that Genius guy or five and you just think, wow, I wish I was a genius like him. Have you ever thought that? I have. Well, I've got news for you. You are that there genius man. You are. And here's why. And you might want to pay attention to this. You are so powerful. You are so powerful. How annoying is this reflection? Shall I take it off? You are so powerful. You're a powerful, creating, conscious cat. What does that mean? It means that you can create whatever you want because a creation happens twice not once but twice not that way but that way happens twice once it happens in your heart in your mind you conceive it you think of it you dream of it that's when it happens once then you with your powerful powerful mind your thoughts then become the thing becomes reality what is she talking about how do you do that maria well this is really all about structures so success is not personal. There's nothing wrong with you. You are not, not clever enough. Double negation, I know. You are not, not enough. You are not incapable. You are not, not perfect enough. These negations are not working for me. Anyway, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes or no? You are not more enough, not less enough. You just are. You just are. You are not more capable or less capable. You just are. You are uniquely you. You are uniquely you. So there's nothing wrong with you. You're not doing anything wrong there. Nothing wrong with your attitude, with your mindset, or with your beliefs. I repeat, there's nothing wrong, I assert, with your mindset, with your attitudes, or with your beliefs. The only thing that's ineffective in your operating system is the environment potentially. Now, what do I mean by that? According to the environment that you operate within, according to the path of least resistance, it's like a pinball little game. You know the little games you get when you're little, right? And then you've got, imagine, imagine that's a little pinball game. Rubbish example, but it's a box. And then you put the little metal marble and it goes down, always goes down the same little pathway, no matter how high you drop it from or how fancifully you make it go through it's always going to go down the same pathway because of its structure because of what's underneath it that then creates the pathway which that marble goes down or that ball bearing or the you know the the pinball wizard games when when I was little I used to play those games well actually my brother did and he dragged me along but that's another story so it doesn't matter how positively mindseted, it nlp great grateful and fit and amazingly healthy and green juiced out and ice bathed that marble is it's still always going to go through the same course does that make sense to you yes or no meaning the success of the ball going from a to b where a is where you are now and b is where you want to get to with your dream with your idea it's always going to run the same course according to the structure that underlies it. Is that clear? Yeah or no? Is that clear? Give me a yes. Give me a one in the chat box if that's a yes. So what do you do instead? You can create from three different parts of yourself. So you're either in creator mode. You're either in creator mode where you're drawing from your genius, from your resourcefulness, from that part of you that is whole, that knows everything, actually. And I know that there's a, a mocking term of, oh, who do you think he is? A know-it-all. You think you're a know-it-all. And this expression, I appreciate, has been used in a demeaning way. But I really assert that that's not, that's not right. That's not very empowering. Because actually, who do you think you are? Well, a genius. Thank you. And you can create whatever you choose to create. And therein lies the key factor. What you choose to create becomes your end result, becomes your goal. It's like 
if you decide that you want to go on holiday to Cuba, for example, that's your end, end result. The end result, how do you know when you'll get there? When you're in Cuba and everyone is big and Spanish like this and everyone's dancing salsa and drinking ron con café. That's when you know you'll be in Cuba. So with your end result, with your goal, with that thing that you want to create more than anything in the world, that dream that you may have buried for the longest of eons of time, but it's still there and it's still like this little lovely light. That, you can do that. You can do that. And I'm not going to be one of those annoying people going, you got this, you can do it, you can do it. And they don't even know you and they don't even know what you're doing. No, that really right royally winds me up. I wouldn't do that to you, boys. I wouldn't do that to you. What you create and what, what I will cheer you on about is what you say you're going to create. So you're always the one driving and you're always the one on your path from your A to your B. You're the one that's in control. You're the one that's in creator mode, not me. I can't create for you. I'm creating all my own stuff, which is really, really, really exciting. And that brings me on to the other point. When you're in creator mode, have you got, by the way, a social media account or a YouTube account or a group or something, some social media where you create content? Social media, you create your content, you do your post, don't you? Yes or no? That's you being in creator mode, even if you share someone else's post. You're creating, you're curating, posh word from the arts world. Curating just means choosing stuff like that, just choosing, choosing stuff and putting them together in a collection. That's what curating means. So creating, curating, it means that you are deciding, you are choosing what you want to choose because that's what you like, because that's what you enjoy, because that's what does it for you. That's what rings your bell, rings your bell. So what rings your bell? What does it for you? And what if I, as a coach, my only job is to make sure day after day, week after week, month after month, quarter after quarter, you can create a bonkers end result in 90 days, by the way. That's my first recommendation. Give your project 90 days, three months, that's a life cycle. Then two of them, half a year, three of them, three quarters of a year, four of them, big good boys. That's a year. You can create monster amazing results in those time frames if you say, if you say so, because you create your parameters of what you're going to create and how you're going to create it. And when you do that, when you do that, when you set your target, you draw back your arrow, you hold your frame and you draw it back and you focus, you focus, you focus, you focus there on that, on that target. And you know how you will feel when you get there. You're always going to be in creator mode as long as you're taking actions relative to your end result. So here's, this is really important. I'm going to repeat this. Really, really crucial. You will always be motivated and online with yourself as long as you're taking action every single day towards your desired end result. And that has such powerful energy. It has such uh, an exciting, advancing momentum. It's got an, ex it's like, it's like if you drive a car or a motorbike, it's like your foot's on the accelerator. Like most of the time or all the time. It's really, really quite miraculous how this happens. Now, how this happens and why this happens is all about quantum physics. I don't have enough time to teach about, teach, I don't like that word, to explain, to show you about quantum physics. I may do that on the next video or the one after that, but it's really, really exciting because it's physically been proven how this stuff actually works and how particles of light respond according to the end result that, that you contain them within. It's so mind-blowing, but very, very exciting. And it's very, very relevant to you and you being in your creator mode. You are a powerful creator. You are not broken. There's nothing there for you to fix. All that there is to do is get into a different structure, a successful structure, 
because success is structural, not personal. But there's nothing wrong with you. A successful structure is when you have an end result, you know where you're going, and you take a step towards that every day, or two or three, however many that you want. That keeps you motivated without even trying to do the mojo, without trying to get up and do 10 scajillion laps and press ups and pull ups. You know, naturally you will feel motivated because you know where you're going, you have a focus and you just go for it and it's really easy. It becomes easy, action becomes easy and fun and actually quite obvious. You don't have to sweat it. You don't have to think, oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So here's what the opposite looks like. The opposite looks like, have you ever been in a position where you've just been doing loads and loads and loads of stuff and you've been working really, really hard, but getting nowhere? And you, you want to do your thing and you get on and you do your thing or you get up early or you do your work or you've done your course and you're doing your thing. But there's so many fires to put out in the day. Like there's so much to do. My head's being cropped out here. There's so many plates to spin. There's just so much else to do that the focus and the momentum just goes because all the other stuff is bigger. Have you ever been in that situation. I absolutely have. I have spent day and night, night and day working really, really hard. I'm just checking what the time is so I don't overrun. Four minutes to go. And I've been working really hard and getting nowhere. And how demotivating is that? It's so demotivating. And what happens is when I'm doing that hamster on the treadmill stuff, I'm likely to be running from the thought level of my conscious, awakeful thought, which is more attuned, it's more focused around problem solving because that's just the world. Like culture and working life is set up around problem solving, around fixing stuff, around putting out fires. And so unless I have a focus, unless you have a focus, the default will be as my husband calls it, sheet FM. Do you know what I mean by that? S-H-1-T. It's just going to be murky, muddy, wading through thick tree called just trying to get through the day and trying to do all the stuff that there is to do in the day. Isn't there a lot of stuff that you just have to do in the day? Yes or no? And then after you've done all that stuff, you've put out those fires and you've spun all those plates and you may have dropped some. Like, is there anything left for your amazingness and your special lovely project is there not really maybe maybe not i don't know you tell me put a comment but here's how to be resourcing from another thought part of you which is not your self-conscious not the everyday you that just has to do all that stuff because there's always washing up to do isn't there there's another part of you called your superhero self, your genius. And that part is a much bigger resource that you can draw intelligence from and information. So have you ever backed up your device on the cloud? And have you ever um, uploaded your pictures onto the cloud or Google Drive or any of that stuff? So imagine it's like a cloud. It's your cloud. It's your super conscious and it's your area of genius. It's where your creation is born from. It's where ideas come from. Another way of putting it is your imagination. Indonesian. So remember when you were a little boy and you might have imagined like swimming with the whales or riding on a lion or running through the fields and pretended that you were Tarzan like my brother used to. So that superhero space that that genius space to resource from that and to work from that operating system are you feeling this like mega mega monster imagine this ipad being huge when you work from that and you take your direction from your genius then you're in the flow state this is what flow state is flow state is an area of highest potential and people do all sorts of flip-flops and hula jumping to get into a flow state. But this is a much easier way of doing it, is to get into a successful structure, be clear about your end result, 
and work towards it. Take everyday action from your genius. And all I'm here to do is show you how to do that. Once you know the process, you're not going to need showing anymore because you're going to know how to do it and you'll be able to do that every day whenever you want. Does that make sense? Yes or no? If you want me to show you that, book a call with me, link below, and I'll show you. I'll even do a complimentary session of, of showing you how to create your success structure. And please go back and watch my video, Success is Not Personal, It's Structural. All of these videos are all in one place on YouTube. If you just search my channel, Powerful Respected Men, go to the first video on the videos, go down to the bottom, watch them all up the way, and you're going to get the whole thing all in one place. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Any questions? PM me. Bye.